Hey you guys, it's your girl Tina. I want to go ahead and shout out Joey Mann. Joey Mann and several people sent me this story and once again, Minnesota maniacs are out on the loose. I swear I cannot wait to get up out this state. There's always some fuckery going on. So what's going on now is that there's a 17-year-old boy. His name is John David Ledoux. And basically he has been arrested because he was plotting on killing his parents and shooting up his Waseca High School. So what happened is that there was this really vigilant woman. She was doing dishes and looking out her backyard when she noticed this strange boy cutting through her yard. And she said she just felt like it was really weird because there was a bunch of mud puddles and he was just walking through the mud puddles and he was like focused. He was so focused and walking towards the mini storage. So she said something in her spirit just didn't sit well with her and she decided to call the police and I say I thank God that she did. When she caught the police, the police were there to meet him at the mini storage where they found all types of ammo and they found the whole plot for him to basically blow up his house, blow up his school, kill his parents and kill a bunch of kids that were going to school with him. This story is just really, really disturbing. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clip right now and then I will come back with the rest of my commentary. He looks like your average teenager strumming his guitar guitar, but tonight prosecutors say they want to try 17-year-old John David Ledoux as an adult for allegedly plotting a sinister attack to kill his own family and bomb his school just days from now. Police revealed the alleged plan yesterday, saying the potential massacre was stopped thanks to this woman, Chelsea Shellhaas. Um, he was walking on the road and then cut over and cut through. Ledoux allegedly amassed an arsenal in a storage facility, and this Tuesday he was heading there when Chelsea Shellhaas saw him cutting through her backyard and got suspicious. He was, he was trying not to be seen, but he made himself look suspicious by not trying to be seen. Police say Ledoux had sketched out every detail, planning to kill his mother, father and sister, and start a fire to create a diversion for law enforcement. And then he would end up here at Wasika Junior and Senior High School to carry out the rest of his attack. He intended to set off numerous bombs during the lunch hour, kill the school resource officer as he responded to help, set fires, and shoot students and staff. She called 911 and police soon arrived and found the teen in the storage locker. Officers observed materials in the storage locker which were consistent with bomb making. Ledoux admitted to placing explosive devices at a school and at a park earlier this month in what he said were practice runs. Tonight, Chelsea Selhas is being hailed a hero. Your quick thinking may have saved lives. How does that feel? Um, it makes me feel good. I'm glad I trusted my gut and just the thought that we could have stopped him and we didn't. It, it would have been a horrible feeling. Alex Perez, ABC News, Wasika, Minnesota. You guys just watch the news report. I mean, this whole situation is just really disturbing. You got a lot of folks blaming movies, and once again, they're blaming video games. But me personally, I blame the parents. This kid is not growing. It's not like he's 21 and out of the household. How does a 17-year-old amass all these weapons, ammo, and everything else? How does a 17-year-old have his own storage locker? You mean to tell me that the parents had no idea that this 17-year-old had a storage locker with all this ammunition? Who was paying for the storage locker? Storage lockers aren't free. You know, that's the problem. You got too many kids out here just being left to their own devices, being left to their own free will. The parents are not following up on them. The parents aren't checking up on their kids. Person, I would bet that his parents probably have a whole arsenal of guns and ammo and everything else. So they probably didn't think anything else when their son started collecting guns and ammo. You know, this is just really scary that this kid had all this firepower and he literally had enough firepower in that garage to literally massacre the entire school. You know, and I just thank God that this woman was vigilant, that she felt something in her spirit, and that she decided to call the police because had she not went with her gut instinct, I can bet you anything, Monday morning here in Minnesota, we would have had all types of police and everything else out at Waseca High School responding to a bunch of dead students and teachers. So I thank God for this woman that she was able to afford this boy's plan. You know, this is just disgusting and this is just sad. Stop blaming the music industry. Stop blaming the gaming industry. People need to start raising their kids, point blank period. It made no sense that this 17 year old had this much access to weapons and ammo and everything else and the parents are now on the news playing crazy like they had no idea that any of this was going on right underneath their nose, right underneath their household. I mean, this is just insane to me. Anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing story that's once again coming out of Maniac, Minnesota. All right, deuces.